This is for the exterior speakers. I'm not sure if I mentioned I have exterior speakers. I got wakeboard tower speakers. So, you got to run that through with the drill. And uh, yes, it would have been easier to do before spray foam, but since I've never done this before, well, I'm doing it after spray foam. It's going to be perfectly fine. So, just drill in a hole here. That will be for speakers and 12 volt. And, uh, yeah. Then we'll put this all together. Right, continuing on, we got the uh, speakers wired. Uh, we exterior. got the, ex yes, exterior speakers. Thank you, Steve. Uh, exterior 12 volt lights. Same ones over here. Gonna have uh, two on each side and then two speakers on the passenger side. So that's gonna be kind of cool. Probably with some kind of switch to turn them on and off in the uh, driver area. We got Mojo Bus over here finishing up some of the cabinets. We just shared a burrito together. It was a fantastic Muy Bien moment. So uh, without further ado, let's get the ceiling up. guys, here is the ceiling. Steve? Oops! What did you do here? See this little <laughs> nail that Jack's tried to put into that piece of metal? It, yeah. I tried to pull it down and didn't realize that on the other back side it was bent. Yeah. And it hooked through when I was trying to pull it. And um... Yep. The, oopsie! The roof is falling. The roof is falling. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got to back up a little bit, do some more work, but hey, look at how great it's turning out. Uh, we got the max fan wire that goes down there, well, these other wires, you saw that. Look at the front parts coming together. We will uh, cover up them uh, screw holes, but we should have this done by today. I it is. Uh, <laughs> that's right, if Steve doesn't rip any more boards out. <laughs> We started uh, several hours ago, but you know what? As uh, Uncle Dan would say, shh happens, right? Name one thing that the yes, S doesn't happen. Sure happens here in a school bus when you're building it, that's for sure. Well, look at that. Doesn't it look good? We, um, <laughs> like I said, we screwed up and then we went back. We covered our mistake, we made it right. Now we're moving along. Life is great. It just took us a little while. Eh? We probably would have been done with this side and then some already, but it's all right. No worries. Life goes on. With our delay, things of course that we learned not to do on this one. <laughs> this is how far we got. So tomorrow we'll finish this thing out. I think also we'll get the cabinets in. I did get a little frustrated with one of these pieces, man. They're just like, if you ask me if I would ever use cedar again, hell no. Never use cedar again. Look at how thin this stuff is. It's very brittle. Uh, it, it On a curve, it's very difficult to use. I wanted extra headroom. As you can see, I have some good headroom, right? I have a couple inch, couple inch gap. Um, so, I do, like the, I do like the look of cedar, but it is very, very hard to work with. So, next bus, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Even if you pay me, I'm not going to use cedar. But uh, tomorrow is Steve's last day, and I think also Mojo Bus. So I just want to say thanks to everybody who's helping me out. I really appreciate it. Um, definitely is more fun to work on projects with people, and especially more knowledgeable people, because there's a lot that I still don't know. Hey, Steve. Is today the day? What? <laughs> yes, today's the day that we finish the ceiling, everybody. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot it. Uh, we're going to finish this here today. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, 
cross your fingers. We don't screw up again because we only have four, four and a half packages and each one is like, shoot, I forget, 17, 20 square feet. So we got all this. Outside, we got the Mojo bus working hard. What's going on, guys? <laughs> you guys doing coat number two? Coat number one on the front. Coat number one on the front of the doors. Ah, gotcha. Back drive. Okay, it. sweet. So, uh, we are just uh, working away. There has been a delay <clears throat> in the videos. It's because sometimes I'm working till like 10 o'clock. I'm more of a morning editor, and these guys like to show up nice and early, and I feel bad for sitting around, so. That's why the uh, videos have been a little kind of sporadic since I've been back in the States. There is no Wi-Fi issue, no connectivity problem. Just, uh, yeah, just uh, working hard. And I do want to thank again all of the people supporting me on Patreon. Uh, being a small creator, we are the most vulnerable people on YouTube to, uh, especially if you're full-time, uh, vulnerable to little ups and downs and little changes and things like that so uh, if you can spare a cup of coffee per month uh, I really appreciate it. it helps me out and continues uh, helps me basically stay on the road and keep continuing with the videos We didn't screw up like we did yesterday, yet. Knock on cedar, planking. Uh, also, Steve told me shiplap, it folds over on top instead of in through the other one. And if you at home are thinking about a school bus conversion, I would highly consider not cedar tongue and groove. It's too brittle, it's too thin, it's too much of a pain in my ass. I would suggest shiplap. Which is what the uh, woman who's building her, her van next to us, that's what she put on her ceiling. Yeah. And uh, it went up a lot easier. Yeah. And I know someone out there is going to be like, well, it's too wide and the cedar's narrow. Yes, you're 100% right, but this has been one of the most aggravating. I don't really get frustrated, but this, this thing is pretty aggravating for me. Yeah. yeah he, he gets so aggravated, we had to have Chinese again last night. <laughs> <laughs> one more recommendation. If you guys at home are building the bus van, I would put two nailers, one on each side of the metal thing. That's what I'm gonna do next time. Just gives you a little bit more room for error. build update. We almost got a ceiling! How exciting is that? Man, I have wanted a wood ceiling since over two years ago when I, well, to when I first started looking into the van life and considering a van and then I stumbled upon school buses and realized how much cheaper they are. Not necessarily with gas mileage, but just a purchase. I always wanted a wood ceiling and I finally have one and now we're almost done. So this makes me super, super happy. Uh, of course, we got a little bit of foam to play with up here. That's where the air horn thing is. Doesn't look as flush as uh, it should have been. So I might have to dig that out. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, I can play with that tomorrow. But look, this thing's looking good. Very, very good. This is where the uh, bedroom lights will be. I chose to put them further down towards the uh, uh, window side so that way if I ever decide to read a book like my aunt's new book I'll let you know what the title of that is uh, yeah I can I can like read in bed and then from when you're looking down the hallway and then it stops you'll just see a, an illuminated area back here you won't even see the lights so it's exciting that center lights bench lights front light max fan Double skylights, 
Man, this thing is gonna come together in the blink of an eye. Well, like, oh, 30, 40 days.